Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Ratchet and Clank. We are about to finish it. Giant Clank Transform! And yeah, now this area with all these crazy enemies, we can just wreck these guys. They're gonna do hardly any damage to us. Especially when we do that, and we now broke down that wall that we couldn't get through before, even if we did decide to fight all those enemies. And now all that we've got in our way is horny toads, which we can just walk into. Let's jump on that one. Get some use out of the jump in this game. And here we are. Hey! What the- <laughs> Imbeciles! After all the trouble you've gone through, you're about to die right where you started. <laughs> it's, it's so poetic. This is it, Clank. Let's get him. And the final boss is a mech fight. Woo! But man, we're doing damage to him slowly. Hmm. You might have been useful to me after all. Too bad you chose the wrong side. Yeah, guess what? The giant clank section was only a tiny bit of it. And now, we're gonna wanna change our quick select. We wanna keep our swing shot out, but we can get rid of the rest of the gadgets. So let's see, what could we use? I think this... I think this does, like, crazy damage to him for some reason. Uh, I guess this is good. Well, we, we want to replace these as well, so I guess Mind Glove. So we're not going to be using the Visa Bomb Gun. Bomb Glove. The guy's gonna be in the air, so I don't really think the Agents of Doom would do well. Visibomb Gun, not gonna have a good chance to use. Same thing with Walloper. Can't really use Suck Cannon or Taunter. Not gonna bother with the Decoy Glove. Can't use the Morpho Ray. And we said we're not using the Rhino here. We're gonna fight him legitimately without the ultimate weapon. So yeah, I'd say let's go in with this, but let's also buy some ammo. I got some great bargains for you today. Cause we're gonna want everything we can get. That's a real beauty. And we still have enough for the gold weapons. Okay. So we need to swing shot from battleground to battleground. These platforms also fall when you jump on them. So you gotta keep moving. And watch out for trickery. There will be a problem later. Now the blaster, we are getting wrecked. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't double jump while you're firing a weapon. And we're dead already, okay. That's fine, I'm glad we got a health refill anyways by dying there. Now I feel like we actually have a chance against this guy. And now that I know not to make the mistake of Firing my weapon, preventing me from double jumping. Uh, 
Okay, so I guess we'll just fire a little bit at a time. We're gonna have to get close enough for that target to come, though. And now I guess we can rapid fire it. We can get over these with single jumps, I guess. That's pretty great. Yeah, whoever thought the simple blaster would be so good against the final boss. That said, we are gonna run out of ammo for it soon. Also, these platforms will fall apart over time, too. So keep moving. If we completely ran out of ammo, we could use the PDA to buy some ammo during the fight. Make sure you got your swing shot out. There, we could get some more health if we needed it, but we don't. Not yet, anyways. The Devastator's pretty good. As always. Am I even hitting him anymore? There's so many mines. Alright, use my last Devastator shot to, um... Yeah, I was able to get him with my last Devastator shot, and it moved it to the next phase. I didn't see where his health bar is at, but I'm pretty sure we're like... Yeah, we're right at the end here. And you want to be really careful here, because... That final falling platform falls before you get to it. Don't be tricked. So it has come to this. Once I step on this ignition switch, a countdown will commence. The end of which signals the destruction of your pitiful world. There must be another way to make a home for your people. You think that's what this is about? Who do you think polluted our last world? I did. This is about one thing and one thing only. Cash! And lots of it. You see, I've been paid for every square inch of my new world. Once the inhabitants move in, I will begin polluting this world as well. Then the whole thing starts all over again. Ah, brilliant. Why, you, you evil little... Save it, Clank. We have to stop that timer. To power slam that button to terminate the countdown. To power slam, jump and press the R1 button. Oh my gosh, my home planet's gonna blow up in less than 30 seconds. Not anymore, but he is going to press that button periodically throughout the fight. We've also got grind rails we can go around on. Uh, I guess it's Tesla Claw time. And if we just use it a little bit at a time. Oh my gosh, giant evil Gadgetbots. I guess to get some clank in this final battle, even though you don't really use clank aside from as a jetpack. Hey, we're getting more ammo. Goody. Stop that timer again. Run away from him again. Uh, decide what way you're going, Ratchet.
just gonna use my strong weapons like for some reason my memory is telling me that like I saw on a speed run or something that the pyrocitor uh, for some reason does a ridiculous amount of damage but if that's true I don't really want to use it because if it does really do as much damage as I'm thinking it does that was definitely not intended Like, I'll use it a little bit just to see if I'm even right about this. Maybe I'm not. Like, maybe if you held it on him, but he's too far away. Like, he moves too fast. So yeah, I guess I mu my memory must have been mistaken. Either that or I'm just doing it wrong. Will you stop doing this move? I need to get close to you. I mean, I don't need to, but it'd sure help. Yeah, I mean, maybe it would do good if I could actually hit him, but I, I can't. It's like, it's so hard to hit him with that weapon. Ow. Now he should be hitting the switch again. Stop that timer one more time. And now we just gotta deal the damage. We can shoot him while grinding. So that's pretty great. What are all these things flying around? They're gonna explode. I have two health left, which is a little scary. I don't have any ammo on this thing. That's not good, because this is my long range weapon, which I kind of need to use while he's doing this. Oh my gosh, stop it please. Okay. Well, guess what? We are gonna use that PDA. I got some great. Cause I want Devastator ammo. And now I'm gonna use that to quickly switch back. Let's stay as far away from him as possible. So we have time to react to his moves. And now this should do it, as long as we don't let that kill us.
like it. What's up? You know, this time I am thinking what you're thinking. We still have a chance to lose. We could jump off. servos in my arm appear to be broken. Broken? As in fall to our deaths broken? Uh, yes. That was close. Thanks. My arm appears to be badly damaged. Ah, you'll be all right. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? We, uh, still need to fix that arm. And that is it. Got some nice credits showing us of uh, various places throughout the game we've been to. Not quite as good as the Spyro credits where it actually has the camera fly around the areas, but whatever, it's fine. Hey look, Gasper, that place that we only went to to get a helmet so that we could fly a ship, even though we've been flying ships throughout the whole game. Now, we're not quite done with the gameplay here, because there's something else that I want to do once the credits are done. There's actually a few things I want to do. But since I'm not sure... Uh, what exactly I'll be showing afterwards. Like, I think I know what I'll be showing. I'll just talk right now as if this is the end. So, I mean, we've basically seen all of Ratchet and Clank now. You know, there will still be some more stuff for me to show after the credits, but, uh, still gonna be doing a bunch of LPs. Next Zelda game's gonna be Link's Awakening. Next non-Zelda Nintendo game is going to be Donkey Kong Land 2. My next uh, non-Nintendo game is going to be Crash Team Racing. I'm still going to be doing multiplayer stuff. I'm still going to be doing uh, fan games. I'm still going to be doing Operation Nostalgia, where I go back and play games that I haven't played since I was like a kid. Uh, and I'm still going to be playing, I'm still going to be doing the Toho 100% run. Or the, yeah, the Toho Project 100% challenge. Because I'm a lunatic. And yeah, that's about it. Not sure how long these credits are. The Ratchet and Clank back dungeon was 
Yeah, because they, Naughty Dog and Insomniac team up a lot. So, Naughty Dog helped with this game, even though it was Insomniac's game. There is actually something to point out in these credits, though, once we get to the end of them. It's a little joke they have in, like, pretty much all the Ratchet and Clank games, and they even had a similar joke, you know, basically the same joke in the credits of at least one of the Spyro games. Do you have a problem with unwanted hair? Is painful itching in your nether regions causing you undue embarrassment? Do you just plain stink? Then you need this! The Gadgetron Personal Hygienator! Hi, I'm Steve... McQuark. And this little baby can take care of any grooming needs that are just too much trouble for you to handle yourself. Allow me to demonstrate. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, mommy. Turn it off! Turn it off! Congratulations! Now that Chairman Drex account has been closed, you're Gadgetron's most valued customer. We've got new items available for you. Just check the new goodies menu on your pause screen. Yes, so that scene was... You can start a new game with all of your current weapons and bolts. You can also go back to your last save. Go ahead and pick one. Yes, so that scene was the joke that is in all these games. No, not really. Now that Chairman Drex account has been closed. Okay, you already Your said that. I must have missed the joke. There's usually a joke that's like, you know, no chickens were harmed in the making of this game. Chickens because the Morpho Ray turned enemies into chickens. Now, I would go to do the new game plus here, which it doesn't say it's a challenge mode. And you don't get any bolt multiplier or anything in this first game. It's just new game plus. But I'm actually going to go back to before I defeated Drek here. Because I want to show what it's like to defeat him with the Rhino. If you... Sadly, this means I've got a lot to redo, which I will do off screen. You know, even though I loaded my file, it looks like it's actually treating this like New Game Plus, because I actually have the goodies menu unlocked now. So, we might get back to that final boss in a bit, but here's our skill points. We have all of them, and here's, here's a list of all of them, as well as a description of each one. And yeah, uh, we could also watch the credits again. There's a cheats thing here, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, we could watch the the cutscenes from the game, both the normal cutscenes and the in-level ones. Like the Infobot cutscenes and the ones that like are part of the level. Uh, this sketchbook... We got unlocked from, uh, th this sketchbook was unlocked from getting half of the skill points, and this epilogue was unlocked from getting all of the skill points. And then these last two things get unlocked from getting all the gold weapons, so I'll probably do bonus videos on those four things. For now, though, I want to look at the cheats, actually. Because there's some we can activate. I don't think we can do all of them here. But let's see. If we backflip... Okay, this is going to be weird. 
Backflip, Hyper Strike, Comet Strike, Double Jump. Oh wait, this is gonna be weird. Okay, Backflip, Hyper Strike, Comet Strike, du a Double Jump, Hyper Strike, Flip Left, Flip Right. That wasn't a Flip Right. And then a Full Second Crouch. Darn it. This is gonna be awkward. Backflip, Hyper Strike, Comet Strike, Double Jump, Hyper Strike, Flip Left, Flip... No, because he keeps turning. I'm not doing it fast enough, apparently, because he's turning. Oh my gosh, don't do a high jump. I was holding right, and you do that instead. Backflip. Okay. Backflip, Hyper Strike, Comet Strike, Double Jump, Hyper Strike, Flip Left, Flip Right, Full Second Crouch. And with that, we have unlocked, uh, Clank has a large noggin. Next, we'll do, uh, we'll do Stretch Jump, Backflip, Back... Basically, we do a stretch jump, three backflips, three times, and then a full second crouch. So... Not a high jump. So let's see. Stretch jump, backflip, backflip, backflip. Stretch jump, backflip, Backflip, backflip. Oh my gosh. Let's get that guy out of here. This is way harder to do than I thought it would be. It didn't work. Okay. Why did it not work? I don't have a clue. Oh my gosh. Get these guys out of here so I don't have to worry about them. I thought this would be easy to do. Clear Clearly I was mistaken. I was holding back there, so I don't know why it launched like that. I don't understand why that's not working. I, I feel like it's because I'm stepping forward to do my stretch jump, but you have to do that. Otherwise, it doesn't stretch jump. Okay, let's move on to a different one for now. Um, left flip, right flip. Two or three backflips. Comet strike, double jump, comet strike, hyper strike. Oh, I was supposed to comet strike and then hyper strike. Okay. Left, right, back, back, comet, double jump, comet, hyper strike. Now, what did that do? Actors have oversized craniums, so NPCs are in big head mode. Now, this next one. Three backflips. Full second crouch. Stretch jump. Full second glide. So, I'm going to have to do this by an edge.
That worked wonderfully. I think the stretch jumps are what's messing it up. Because the ones that we've done right so far haven't required stretch jumps. Maybe if we turn it to the helipack. That is not a stretch jump. Why is it not going forward now? Unless that is a stretch jump. Why is it like... Yeah, I thought the high one wasn't a stretch jump. Why is this so hard? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what it wants me to do. Alright, how about... Four Comet Strikes, Backflip, Full Second Crouch, Backflip, Full Second Crouch, Four Comet Strikes. Alright, that worked, and that's actually a really interesting one. That's actually really helpful. Health gives invincibility at max. If, you, if you're at max health and you collect health, you will become invincible for 30 seconds. Now, uh, four left flips, then three wrench attacks to do the triple combo. Hyper strike, flip right two or four times, double jump, and if we did two flips before, then we want to do two more right flips and a double jump, otherwise we don't need to do those. And then we do a full second crouch, so... Let's see. We could do it down here. Oh, I, I was still holding R1, okay. That should have done it. I don't know why it's not doing it. Man, this reminds me of trying to get the special codes in Rayman 2 to work. I couldn't even get all of them to work in the end. Oh gosh darn it. I was holding down R1 still. Why is it not working? Ugh. 
Oh, is it because I'm double jumping there? That could be why. Why? No, come on. Why did it do a high jump? There we go. And that is uh, mirrored levels. Yeah, levels are mirrored. The other one we can't do here because it requires us to wall jump a bit. So I'll have to try that one later. I still want to know what the issue is with these stretch... What the issue is with these stretch jump ones. Because to my knowledge, there's no other way to do stretch jumps than, you know, stepping forward first. And I feel like the stepping forward is what's messing it up, aside from just having this be hard in general. There we go. Did one. That is big head mode for enemies. Yeah, enemies have massive domes. And now we have to do that full second glide. I also wonder if I have to land back on a safe surface after the glide. I don't think so, but we could take that into cons we should take that into consideration. We spent so long trying to do these and there's one that we still can't even get cuz we can't do a bunch of wall jumps here. Look at these guys with their big heads. Let's try to take some of these guys out. I don't even know where we should go to do this full second glide it wants me to do. Like, where could we... Well, not here. I still have to do all the... I have to redo all the trespasser things, apparently. All right, so it wants us to What was it again? Backflip 3 times, full second crouch, stretch jump, and full second glide. And I jumped off. Okay. There we go. And that's Big Head Ratchet. Uh, yeah, Ratchet has a big head. And for this last one, first of all, I'm gonna turn all of these off because I don't like the cheats, honestly. Especially mirror mode. I'm gonna fly somewhere where we can wall jump a bit. So, yeah, I'll see you wherever.
And so that bridge just formed before my eyes. And we're gonna go up to the gold weapons room. So we want to do 10 wall jumps. And then a double jump and a hyper strike. Oh gosh darn it, he went on the wall again. And there we go. That one gave us the cheat. Uh, trippy contrails, which will like put stuff behind us when we're grinding, so I'll have to show that. Uh, this place still only offers five weapons. Hmm. Sure, let's buy him. Gold bomb glove. That's pretty sweet. Gold pyrocitor. It looks like they're green weapons instead of gold. Gold Blaster. Wow, bouncing shots. Gold Glove of Doom. Yeah, that is pretty great. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to properly show them off here, but apparently we can. Gold Suck Cannon. <laughs> and we can't really properly show that off here. So let's head to Novalis. We should be able to show it off there. And we'll see if they've got the other, uh, the other gold weapon room there yet. Uh, it doesn't appear that they do. Yeah, the portal's not here. So I'm gonna quick go somewhere where... Here, Batalia. They've got a big grind rail here. That I don't have to spend much time on, because I can just go in a loop. Or, like, die. Oh, and I forgot to use the suck cannon. But I can use it here. Oh, it can hold a lot more ammo. And it has much more explosive shots. Yeah, these definitely seem more like the green weapons. I mean, the weapons themselves are gold, but uh, their attacks are green. And I guess that... Let me turn that off. I don't get it. I heard that this was a thing while grinding. 
but I'm not seeing the difference. Or maybe, no, I was wrong. I think it might be a trail behind our weapon or something, but it doesn't seem to be changing that either. I'm... I'm a little confused as to what the whole trippy contrails is, but whatever. Let's just not worry about it. Now I'm going to actually go refight the final boss with the Rhino, so I'll see you there. So I just looked up what trippy contrails is. Look at those ships. Now look at them. I'm honestly not seeing a difference. Supposedly it's supposed to change the streams that go behind them. Oh yeah, I guess it does change it. I think, it's just not very noticeable. Uh, yeah, like I just said a little bit ago, we're not going to worry about this one. All right, here we are. Back to the final boss. This time we'll be using the Rhino. All this, although this first section will still have to use Giant Clank. And of course we're going to be skipping the cutscenes because we've already seen them. Just punch the crap out of this guy, and next phase. And now, I'm gonna change my quick select around to get access, uh, access to Rhino. I guess we can put something there too. Sure. But the swing shot and the rhino should be all we need. I'm not even gonna bother buying ammo here. Cause we're just gonna need the rhino. And look at how quickly we destroy him. I'll also, after firing all those rockets, I don't know how we still have 47 out of 50 ammo, but I'll take it. Let's get our swing shot out before we start trying to go across here. And back to the Rhino. Let's get some health, though. We shouldn't need it, because we'll destroy him too fast. But we'll use it. It looks like one shot from the Rhino fires, like, many missiles. Which is crazy. I was a little scared to make that jump there. I felt like I jumped from the wrong spot. Yeah, he's no longer a threat, but the platforming still kind of is. 
you know, one mistake and you're dead, and I almost forgot that, I kind of did forget that that fell away. Countdown? What countdown? We just skipped having to do one of the countdowns. Also, I could have been attacking him while I was grinding there. But I didn't, but that's pretty overpowered, just grinding away from him while pointed straight at him, attacking him with the Rhino. Now we got another countdown, but who cares? We sure as heck don't care. Alright, maybe we care a little. <laughs> and he is dead. And now he's really dead. Uh, but yeah, so that is how easy he is when you have the Rhino. Do you ever... There's one more thing I want to show before this video ends, and this is a really long video. Not sure how much I'm cutting out, but I've been recording for over an hour. So start new game with current weapons and bolts. Now, I'm going to cut out the time it takes me to get back to Novalis, which shouldn't take long, uh, because, um, because it's just the tutorial. I can run through that really fast. Hey, look how peaceful it is now. And see, look, the... That support beam is gone here. What is up with that? Whatever, doesn't matter. So I'll see you at Novalis. Okay, so I have confirmed that you cannot randomly pick up ammo for the Rhino. Now let's see how expensive its ammo is. I think we might have already seen this at one point. 20 per thing. And now, we have this teleporter. Teleport to Gold Weapons Room. And here we go. Let's buy the Gold Tesla Claw. Let's use it before we buy anything else. Gold Devastator. It splits into multiple missiles. Nice. Gold Mine Glove. It's a big explosion. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it also homes in on enemies from further away. Uh, Gold Morpho Ray. Which I assume transforms enemies faster. Uh, actually, I know what it does. I'm not sure if it also transforms enemies faster, but we're going to want to take a look at that. And the gold decoy glove. So we're going to want to come out and look at the last three that we got. So first of all, that decoy glove... Takes a long time to destroy, and it blows up when it's destroyed. Let's look at it properly. Got some sort of evil shadow ratchet.
And what were the other ones? The Morpho Ray and the Mind Glove. Yeah, that's definitely homing in from further away. And... Yeah, these five other ones can't be turned to gold, but... Uh, the Morpho Ray. Turns them into giant chickens. Which I think explode. Yeah, they explode. I think they eventually explode on their own without you having to attack them too. So that is ridiculous. Yeah, they... I'm not sure if it was because the enemy was attacking it. I think it just blew up on its own. But yeah, giant exploding chickens. And that's where we'll end this off. This has been... Oh, wait. The goodies menu. Now that we got all the golden weapons, we also unlocked the making of video and the commercials. These four things here are going to be bonus videos. But aside from that, we're done. That's it for Ratchet and Clank. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I'll see you next time for something else.